kiss from a dolphin. Fifteen years ago, I was invited on a cruise with one stop in Mexico and an opportunity to swim with dolphins. My friend enthusiastically asked me to accompany her in that experience. I hesitated as the dolphins were kept in captivity and I didn't want to support that. I deliberated for a couple of days and finally said to my friend, I could give something back to the dolphins instead of just taking from them. And I accepted my friend's invitation. The decision to say yes opened the realm of the magical. The day arrived for our outing. The dolphin facility was tightly operated and well ordered. We were in groups of 10 participants, one instructor and one dolphin per group. And there were approximately four groups in joining pools. The dolphins were trained to kiss us on the cheek, escort us for a ride while holding onto their fins, and wave at us while making sweet dolphin sounds. All activities mechanically orchestrated, and the same was expected of the participants, to follow the rules and stay in line. I detected something out of sync, as I often do, and it caught my attention. There was a dolphin who appeared to be swimming freely from pool to pool with a staff person looking on intently, following the dolphin as much as she could from the side of the pool. I began to follow that dolphin from within the water with my eyes, watching her through my goggles. She was interested in our group and stayed close, a couple of times swimming right beside me. We were instructed to keep our arms by our sides. Marina, her name that I learned later, swam up to me and suddenly she jumped out of the water and planted a kiss on my lips. In that split second, we were dolphin facing dolphin or woman facing woman. Looking into her eyes, a channel opened right to my heart. It didn't matter if we were humans or dolphins because we were one. I had no idea of what was to come or what was happening, other than a sense of internal bliss. Bliss is a calm that fills your body. It takes over and your mind becomes free of thought and open. Surrendering your own will is the experience of what was, what is, and what will be. None of that matters anymore, as everything is as it's meant to be. I was transported into an alternative reality and tears streamed down my face. Marina tapped me on the chest where my heart is and began to push me through the water with her nose. My thought at that moment as I came back to the reality of the warm water and other physical sensations was that I was being healed and I was the most fortunate person alive. I did not recall the intention that I set a few days earlier. From the side of the pool, I heard the voices of many people. They sounded frantic and they were yelling, Lady, get out of the pool and don't touch the dolphin. My experience with Marina probably only took a few minutes. Yet because of the nature of the experience, time had no relevance. Our thoughts help create the experiences we have. And with focused intentions, we can shape those experiences directly. When we set our minds on an intention, mysteriously those thoughts are received beyond our physical circumstances and can reveal themselves in the physical reality. We may not know how and we may not know when. I appreciated the loss of time with Marina and that moment of bliss. I appreciated being swept away and moved beyond my control. I loved looking into her eyes and seeing myself in her and her in me. I could have stayed in that moment, however, with the calls from the deck, I swam over to the side of the pool and pulled my body out. My friend joined me. We discovered that Marina was a young female dolphin who had during the night been hurt by some male dolphins. That morning she refused to eat and the marine vet wasn't able to get close enough physically to check her out for injuries. She wouldn't follow the rules and she was showing signs of distress. 
What took place that day left me with a sense of miraculous and magic. After we questioned Marina's caregiver, we watched closely from the deck above to see the ongoing dynamic for Marina. She allowed the vet to do a thorough physical examination, and we were told later that she began eating. That was a kiss from a dolphin. <laughs>